first up, I think children are, have not been taught to think free. If you ask a child what color the sky is, the child will say the sky is blue. But the sky is black at night. The sky is snowy white uh, when it's full of clouds. And the sky has eight colors when a rain goes across the sky. Seven plus one, whatever the color of the sky is at, at, at that moment. And what is blue? How many blues can there be? Is there gray blue, which when I was uh, raising my niece, I would call glue? You know, is it gray brown, which is ground? Because there, there's, you know, there, there aren't four seasons. There's spring, there's spring myrrh, and there's summer, and there's sumptum, and there's autumn, and there's, you know, there's wing and there's winter. Because no season changes to the other season. Just And so my niece began to understand that, yes, there are eight seasons. So when next time the teacher asks me, I'm going to say that there are eight seasons. So I think it's that. I think it's adults have to first free children's minds for them to really understand design for change. What should we do with our society? Um, we should actually, all of the, there should be clean streets. Forget about that. What do you want? What do you really want? Feel free to articulate that. So that's the first intervention adults can make, which is to help free children's minds. That obviously assumes that the adult's mind has to be freed first. Second, once the child begins to plot and plan how to do things, stay away. Let them plot and plan. Let them decide the modalities of how to do things. But when they confront the real world, that's the time when they will need uh, hand-holding. Because they're going to confront uh, bitterness, disappointment, a history of intractability, authoritarianism, uh, a, a disrespect for children, all kinds of things. At that point of time, when they are going to be felled by the first blows of uh, disappointment, that's when you got to step back in and say, it's absolutely fine. There's no winning or losing here. There's nothing. It's about our discovery. So let's see how we can do this. If the water is flowing and there's a big rock in the middle of it, can we flow through the sides? So in that respect, another uh, adult intervention is to make sure that children uh, don't lose that momentum. Because the worst thing you can do is for a child to suddenly say, oh my God, there's no way I can, I can surmount this. And then that person will be powerless for the rest of his or her life. So I think that's the second uh, uh, avenue for um, intervention by adults. And finally, when children do achieve what, they, what it is that they have to achieve, to have a very clear, unprejudiced eye towards what they wanted to achieve and how much they did achieve. And to understand that these are the numbers, these are the percentages one works with in life. Therefore, the next time around, you don't pitch to do 100%, you pitch to do 650%, so that you get, after your disappointments, you get to 100% and you actually uh, make your goal work. So, three stages where adults can and should intervene.